This is the professor show. You want to learn. You don't have time. Here is a solution. How do we taste? Say you take a bite of a delicious apple. You've got apple and saliva in your mouth. The saliva is more delicious than you think because it breaks down apple into chemicals, some of which interact with extensions of the nervous system in your mouth. This is called chemoreception. It differs from other types of sensation, like light bouncing off of the eyes, because the chemicals bond with the part of you that need to be metabolized. It's like a bee flying into the bud of a flower. The chemicals enter what we call taste buds, eight to 10,000 of them around the mouth, predominantly on the tongue. You can see them with the naked eyes, little bumps. They're in Latin, they're called papillae, which in English means bud. Inside of each bud, you've got 50 to 100 taste cells. They respond to one of five different types of chemicals. Salty, sodium, uh, important for water regulation as well as nervous function. Sour, response to acids, and can food may have gone bad, perhaps the presence of bacteria. Bitter, response to nitrogen-based poisons like caffeine. It's a uh, naturally occurring pesticide, neurotoxin for the, for the bugs, neuro heaven for us. But not all poisons are fun, and dose matters a lot for safety. Then you've got sweet, indicating the presence of carbohydrates, and something called umami, recently discovered by the Japanese, and so they got to name it, planted their flag on your tongue. Umami means savory or meaty. Um, and the primary chemical there is L-glutamate, which is the major uh, excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. Literally food for thought. So carbohydrates, protein, and fat are uh, necessary for proper functioning. Savory and sweet. Thank you, Darwin. So when one of these chemicals connects with a taste cell, it's like that moment in Princess Bride where Inigo finally leans on the knot in the tree and it uh, opens a pathway down into the pit of despair. In this case, the pathway that's triggered is a cascade of nervous activity down one of three facial nerves to the brain stem up into the brain where the signals meet with uh, incoming signals from smell in areas of the brain important for emotion, such as the anterior insula and the amygdala. Smell can then provide subtlety to the flavor so we can taste more than five things. If you're into longer names, smell is also known as olfaction and taste is gustation. In summary, uh, taste is when uh, saliva breaks down food so that chemicals can get into the taste buds, bond with taste cells, and send signals to the brain about what we're eating. So how do we taste? I guess you'd have to ask a cannibal. My mom says that uh, her grandson is scrumptious, so maybe scrumptious?